What's going on everyone? Uh, today I have a video for you guys and what I'm going to be going over in this video is showing you guys how to um, use remote play on your PS Vita uh, so you can control your PS3 system via your PS Vita. That rhymed. <laughs> Pretty cool. Um, so yes, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first thing you need to do you're going to need to do, if you guys have not already done this, um, you're going to need to go over to your PS3 system and go over to settings. Uh, scroll all the way down until you find remote play settings and then go ahead and click on it. And then before you can even start to do this process, you're going to have to register your PSP or, well, in this case, PS Vita system. Uh, with your PS3, so you're going to have to click on it, um, tell your PS3 what device you're wanting to connect. Like I said, it's a PS Vita, and I have already registered it, so I don't, I'm not going to do this process, but from here, that's all you need to do is hit PS Vita system, and then go through the instructions that it tells you to do. So, after that being done, you need to go over to remote play on your PS3 under network. Go ahead and click on it until the screen goes black. And then you will see this screen where it says start remote play on a remote play device. So now what you need to do is go back over here to your PS Vita system and find the remote play application uh, right there. Go ahead and open it up. And hit start. And depending on your network, you can either go from a private network, which I rec recommend if you're doing this at your house using a private router. Um, um, but the connect via internet is the most widely used option. But I'm going to go ahead and use private network. It's going to give you some information here. You hit OK. Now it's going to try to connect to my PS3 system. And there we go, on the PS3, it will now say Remote Play in Progress, just like it does if you're using this with a standard PSP. But as you guys can tell now, the screen has switched over to the PS Vita, and now you can control your PS3 just like normal with Remote Play, just like you did with the uh, PSP. 1000, 2000, and 3000, and the PSP Go. So, it's pretty cool. Um, it still does not support disc-based games, unfortunately. So, if I want to play, say, Black Ops, it'll say the content cannot be used during remote play, which I wish Sony could get around that somehow. But, oh well. Um, but you can play PlayStation 1 Classics on here via remote play, which is nice. And one game that I have found that is disc based that you can play is Lego Batman. But, I mean, I wish like Call of Duty and Grand Theft Auto were supported, but unfortunately they are not. And also things like Netflix and Hulu do not work for some reason. That's another thing that is a mystery to me. It's, yeah, I don't, I really don't understand it. Um, but you can play all of your downloaded and copied videos, which is very nice. So say I want to go all the way down here, let me find it. Oh, there it is. Uh, this video about Kevin Butler showing off the PlayStation Move, so if I want to watch that, I can go ahead and do so. There you go. You can go ahead and watch it, and then the L and R buttons just work just like the PS3 controller. You can hit that and it'll rewind it. And then hit circle to go back, of course, just like on the PS3 controller. And my camera's really kind of out of focus, which is odd. But, yes, you can play a wide variety of your videos. Um, you can play all of your music, all of your downloaded and copied music. There's no restriction there, which is nice. Pictures is the same way. You can display all of your pictures that you have on your PS3. So, I'll say, for example, I want to display this one. There you go. It'll show the picture. And you can also use the copy function right here if you have a USB drive, uh, USB stick plugged into your PS3's um, USB port right there. 
So that's pretty cool that you can do that. I guess you can call this, or not call it, but you can kind of, I guess, tell that it's similar to what the Wii U is going to do, to where you can have someone watching TV on the television, and then what you can be controlling your PS3 via your PS Vita system, which is pretty cool. But like I said, you can't play really any games, which is a huge downfall. Um, then you can still, you have the internet browser, internet search, stuff like that. PlayStation Plus, your sign-in info. And then if you are signed into the PlayStation Network, which you can do via the, uh, on the remote play on here, um, you can chat with friends, and if you can somehow work around it, you can get it to go into a video chat. But there's some, there's a bit of a trick that you have to do because it won't do it by itself. So you have to kind of get it around uh, and force it to do so. But yeah, you can send messages, you can go to chat rooms, stuff like that. You can add and delete friends, add them to the block list, whatever you need to do. Um, but you cannot go on PlayStation Home or the PlayStation Store. Um, also, another feature of this, since this is a PS Vita system, um, you might think you would just normally hit the PlayStation button to act as the PlayStation button on the PS3 controller. Um, on the PS Vita, that is not the case. Um, you have to touch the screen, tap it once, and it'll bring over the side menu which right here you can see the PlayStation button. So of course when you hit that, it'll give you information. So wait, let me go into a picture again. Okay, now if you hit the PlayStation button, it will go into the XMB menu, just like it would on the PS3 controller. And then of course you hit circle, or actually not circle, excuse me. You just hit the PlayStation button again to get out of it. And then circle to get back out of all of that. So tapping again, you have a settings box down here, which you can configure some settings for the actual remote play that is in session. So you can adjust the image quality, assign buttons, change connected PS3 systems. So for example, you want to switch over to a different PS3 that you currently have running remote play. And then you have restored to default settings. So image quality, just like it says, it will make the image or the quality of what you're seeing on the screen either better or worse depending on your preference and then assign buttons is pretty cool you can assign certain sections on the PS Vita system even the touchpad on the back to work as a button on the PS3 controller so say type 2 says assign buttons and type 3 so you can have there you go so you can do L2, L3 R2, R3, just by hitting certain points on the back touchpad, which is really cool. Um, then, of course, reset default settings, which I do not want to do. And then change PS3 system, which I also don't want to do. So, that's that. And then if you tap it again, there's one more option, which is right here. It's a little power icon, so if you click on that, it will give you the option to turn off the PS3 system. So that is how I'm going to end this video. So I'm going to go ahead and shut the PS3 off. There you go. And hit X one more time. Remote play has been terminated. Okay. PS3 is now shut off. And you're back to this screen. So that's that same thing. I was just kind of fiddling right there. But. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope I helped you out with wanting to connect your PS Vita via remote play to your PS3 system. So, yes, thanks for watching. Make sure to hit the subscribe button right there. Oh, pff, what am I doing? Not peace yet. <laughs> um, thumbs up the video. Comment below if you have any questions about this at all. And, yes, thanks for watching again. And now, peace out till next time.